Subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so whenever we upload a video, you'll be notified. Hello everyone, Shabik here from Money Online and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the MIUI 10 Pro ROM as well as I'm also going to give you a review regarding this ROM. So now without wasting any time, let's begin. So the first thing, what are the requirements for installing this MIUI 10 Pro ROM in your phone? Number one, your bootloader must be unlocked and number two, you should have a recovery installed in your phone. So yes, after this, what you have to do, you have to go to wipe and here you have to go to advanced wipe. And here you have to select Dalvik system data and cache. That means you are performing a clean wipe. So then after pressing this, swipe to wipe. So yeah, after you perform the wipes, you have to go to install. Go to copy of this. And then here swipe to one more thing let me just reduce the brightness and now if I go to install and if I tap here and then swipe to install as you can see the installation procedure has started off it will take some time like a minute or two or even five minutes so from here onwards, I'm fast forwarding the video. ROM installation procedure has been completed here. And now we will go back and install the lazy flasher to prevent our device to go into the boot loop. So here swipe to install. So yes, now we are done and in this uh, MIUI Pro ROM, we do not need to flash the G apps separately, it's pre-installed. So now let's reboot our device. So this is the boot screen or boot screen animation of MIUI 10 Pro ROM. So that's kick ass. That's nice. That's nice. The insta after the boot uh, booting the this screen came this is basically they want to verify the mi account associated with this phone so i'm going to finish all those things and i'll be back yeah so now i completed that step for my mi account verification and now we will further proceed next the menu is appearing in russian but here you can change the language so here if you go next okay let's skip next
hope so okay now we have booted into miui 10 and let me show you so this is how the status bus looks like and uh, if we go here go here okay okay so the dialer app remains same nothing new okay so let me just enable my quick ball why because uh, my navigation buttons are not working actually i don't know why but then let's switch on the quick ball gesture where it okay so now let's go to the my device setting and uh, see here if i click here so this is miui 10 the lower is of miui 10 and it's showing me why pro 10 8.7.5 so yeah okay sorry so if we go to the all specs here it is android version remains the same that's the nougat so yeah nothing new the security patch level is i will not say latest but then yeah it's better when compared to the other roms this is better why because i don't think that miy the original miy provides the latest security patch updates but in here you get the june security patch update so yes and the things remain the same here the th i have the 3gb variant and all and if we go back yeah what else new do we get to see so the first thing let's check here okay so here we have an option to add our face data so i'll add the face data and i'll be back so i've added my face data and now let's see how fast it unlocks so yeah it was like quite pretty fast only that's great now if we go back here are same old options no. so now let's go back and if you go to home screen and recents so here you get a bit of options to customize if you go to, let's see what's there in the standard option what happened they are not allow okay so I'm clicking on the standard option but then the menu is not opening gestures if you swipe up either you can uh, set an application whenever you swipe up so a particular application will open otherwise if you double tap it will uh, like clear the memory or something you can select a lot of options of here you know like turn off the screen or something so that's nice that's nice and if we go back and uh, if we go to additional settings the additional settings menu has uh, changed entirely and the quick ball gesture when i'm enabling the quick ball gesture it's like uh, uh, the uh, pop-up comes that it's not responding or we have to report it so that's not good and uh, what else if we go uh, and uh, if we click on more okay and uh, this, this new feature is there called the smart network setting so if you switch on see some op options are there for customizations and all so that's great and if we go back go back go back and yeah okay 
सिक्स जी बी स्टोरेज इज बी नीटेन बाय द सिस्टम एंड वॉट एल्स गो टू बैटरी इन परफॉर्मेंस ओके इन परफॉर्मेंस दिस इज द न्यू वन विच वी गेट ऑप्शन एंड स्मार्ट सीन्स दिस इज ऑल्सो अनदर एन ऑप्शन दट्स वेरी नाइस and uh, yeah let's fire up the camera and see whether do we have the portrait mode or not if we go here right tap on options and go over here actually we don't have that options of uh option of portrait mode till now and uh it seems like the portrait mode option will only come when uh, MIUI like Xiaomi is going to release the stable version of MIUI 10 till then no portrait mode for Redmi 4 or 4X officially and the home screen looks like this and uh, the recent I'll show you the recents how it looks. If you tap here the recents, okay, obviously it looks like this. So nothing new. So that's it, guys. This is the review regarding the MIUI Pro ROM. I found it like it's just it's the it's the normal MIUI, but some extra tweaks are added. So regarding the stabilities and issues, till now I have not found any issues. and uh, actually i was using this rom like 3 to 4 days it all it was almost 3 to 4 days but for making this video i again install this rom so links will be again the links will be there in the description below so go ahead download the the rom which from the link which i will provide and yeah if you found this video informative do smash the like button and if you're new to our channel do also press the subscribe button so thanks for watching and i hope you to see in my next one